If I were to ask you, would you like to be highly favored by God? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Let me show you what a highly favored person looks like. Let's open the Bible to the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 1, beginning at verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came into her and said unto her, you get it? Let's read it together. Hail, ready? Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Let's read it again. Let's read the whole verse this time. Let's read it together. And the angel came into her and said, Hey, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. What does a highly favored person look like considering the Lord is with you? Mary was highly favored by God. So by our definition today, she should be rolling in the dough. Yeah. You give me that? Yeah. yeah, because see me, the highly favored person, rich, yeah. you roll in the dough. Yeah. They got it all together. Yeah. Well, Mary had to live nine months with shame. Mm, that's right. Why? She was having a child and she wasn't married. But she was what? Oh, okay. okay. So Mary lost friends. Mary had people sipping behind their backs about her. Mary had people see her coming and they would turn their back on her. But she was highly favored. The same woman who was highly favored had to sit on a donkey and ride several miles to another country that she knew nothing of. And she went into a an inn to get room to have a baby and the guy said to her there's no room but you could live in the smelly stable but she was what not your definition <laughs> the same highly favored woman was she and her husband was going home from the great sacrifice temple celebration and she lost her son the bible says she and joseph had to turn back and go looking for their child you ever lost a child anywhere let's get real all of us lost, even if we lost him in the house let's, we all lost the child somewhere and what's the normal Response when we can't find the child. Boy, we go ballistic. Man, we go ballistic. I remember one time we were in the States. Uh, I thought uh, Bridget had Brittany. She thought I had Brittany. We were in a food store. We, went, we both went back to the car and there was no Brittany. We freaked out. Ran back into the store, went up and down the aisles. So they had her sitting in the office on a table waiting for someone to come and get her. Yeah. But she was what? Highly favored. The same woman had to then go back, and I can imagine her running through all of the temple, and this was a crowded time, running through all the temple busyness. Jesus, Jesus, where are you? Jesus, where are you? Where are you? Jesus, Jesus. But she was the same woman who was highly favored. When she knocked and said, I'm here to see Jesus, tell him his mommy's outside. What did Jesus say? Who? Who's my mommy? Oh, man. Why do you think you would live? If you came to see your son. And then he says, who? Who outside? Daddy? Who's that? Man, that's a serious thing. This woman was highly favored. And she had to stand there and watch her son be beaten to a pulp. And she had to stand there and 
watch her son nail, he nails to a wooden cross on the ground, and then she had to see him elevated up on a hill for the whole city to see. Yeah. But she was what? The same woman saw her son struck a spear through his, his side with a spear and they had to, she had to live through that. She saw her son go through what we call capital punishment today, the, the, the death sentence. But she was what? My friend, listen to me. When you are highly favored, God could trust you with problems. When you are highly favored, God can trust you with rejection. When you are highly favored, God could trust you with pain. When you are highly favored, God could trust you with special treasures. Don't believe that being highly favored is problem free. Because the evidence of God is not always that he prevents problems. The great evidence of our God and a person who is highly favored is that God navigates them through problems. And if you want to know if you are highly favored, let's answer this question. What do I do when I'm criticized? What do I do when I'm overlooked? Ah. What do I do when I don't get my just reward? What, what do I do when things don't go my way? What, what do I do? Or what would it take to stop me from doing what God has called me to do? As I was pondering on this, I... This is what I said to him. I said, Lord have mercy. There aren't many of us who are highly favored. Because some won't come back to church because someone didn't speak to them. Oh, man. And we say that we are, uh-uh. Now, how many of you want to be highly favored? <laughs> My friend, being highly favored don't mean you can live on Rich Avenue. On Prosperous Boulevard. But I can tell you one thing. You will shine for Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And your name will be called in your generation. Yeah. God needs people on whose behalf he could show himself strong yes. on the earth. Yes. Yeah. That's what he said. So watch this. A highly favored person is going to lose a loved one. A highly favored person is going to be criticized. A highly favored person is going to have some serious storms in life. A highly favored person is going to be able to be almost like you get into one thing, you come through it, and something else slams you in the face. I just want you to know, a highly favored person does not mean you will be happy, healthy, and wealthy. That's the world's definition. But every person who was highly favored by God was able to navigate through all of their life's problems, bringing glory to Jesus. And as I thought about this this morning, I said, oh God, I want to be highly favored. Because you know what the key is in that, that verse? To me, the Lord is with you. What challenge could defeat you if the Lord is with you? Is it? So it does not matter what the situation is. The presence or absence of the situation is not the evidence that the Lord, that you are highly favored. The evidence of being highly favored is it does not matter what the situation is. Because the Lord is with you. 